What we have going on today is our yearly CSI day. And what it is, is we put all the CTE credit classes together so that coordinate and correspond together to create kind of an event that each one utilizes their skills and professions that they have been taught over the year. And they all demonstrate it all together and accordingly with the rest of the CTE classes to demonstrate as well as to cooperate and be effective in utilizing their skills in a reality situation. We have teachers who have allowed students to leave their classes today to come and experience this event. And then you have our fire science teacher, our drama teacher. We have our video classes are out here as well doing the video and the pictures. Journalism students are out here acting as the media. Myself, our forensics teacher, um, I would say we're about almost 10 different teachers that we have sending students out here. We had to do a lot of kind of like how to like simulate some of the things like the explosion and the fire without actually having real fire. And then there was making stuff. And Ms. Harris did a really good job of making all these different body parts, making them look really realistic. Ms. Chitra Harris, she does an awesome job of coming up with ways to make almost out of nothing into something gory and awesome. And she comes up with it and then we run with it. Our drama students came in and got some makeup put on. They agreed to be part of playing the witnesses and the victims. They did a great job sticking to their script to help our students have as a real uh, experience as they possibly could. We've been planning for about a month and a half with the teachers who've been in preparation since the following last year's with pros and con charts. We always do it near the end of the school year and basically we start planning again after this event is finished. We are a little limited, obviously. We have to do something that would allow all the classes to be involved, so it needs to have some type of a fire or explosion. And then around December, so a few months before the event, we start gathering our items that we would need. We've gotten grant money to buy some of the tools that you see the kids using, the microscopes, evidence cameras, my duty belts, the training weapons, the vests and things like that that our hazmat students are wearing. And then it comes down to really having the kids be involved and in signing up to do their roles. And as you can see around me, they're very invested in what they want to use the tools for. There's another stage of this, it's also the youth court stage. And the youth court will take this up as a kind of a trial case. And so in the process, we're going to go through this trial case and we're going to run through it. And we're going to see if we can prosecute the person that did this. The work that the forensic evidence group or the forensic analysis group will do from the forensics class as well as the law enforcement and the, what, the witness reports and witness remarks that we're going to receive. I think for one, being more prepared for stuff like this is a big deal to me. Um, and then, like, I think this will really help if I wanted to go into, like, doctor kind of thing so I can, like, see all the different parts with this. So. This is a great beneficial experience for every student that is participating as well as every student that's not participating but is just here to watch it because it's showing them the true nature of reality as well as the true nature of what certain individuals, the individuals that are doing these jobs will experience in future times to come. I think it's a really cool learning experience to kind of like realize that anything can happen at any moment um, and it's also really cool to be able to look at the different body parts even though they're kind of like distorted and stuff and figure out what exactly what kind of body part it is and put it together.